Hey guys, what's going on, it's Gats. Uh, so, today I'm going to tackle a topic that uh, I've actually had a couple people in both my guild uh, and my general friend group come to me about, um, you know, especially during raid. And, you know, they see if they get a piece of gear, and even though Blizzard has said multiple times they want people just to be able to toss on, you know, the best item level gear they find, uh, we found out recently that's just not realistic anymore. Uh, the advent of Benthic gear from here in Najatar, and a couple other, you know, factors, sockets, uh, you know, in the case of healers, sometimes leech is a thing, and, you know, there's just a lot of confusion about gear. And then, whenever we go and we ask, you know, to someone who we, you know, feels probably more knowledgeable about our class than we are, everybody has that person, even I do, because um, you know, I'm definitely not to be all in all of knowledge, that's for sure, but, uh, you know, everybody has that question, and a lot of the times you'll be met with, well, sim it, and see what happens. And I realize that there's actually a lot of people that have never sim their character before. So today I'm going to do a quick basic rundown on how to sim your character using raid bots, um, just because there's some people that just don't know how to do that, and I think maybe that, you know, there's quite a few people that just might enjoy knowing how to do that and what the different options do. Uh, and another great thing about raid bots, of course, is that, you know, it's not your computer doing the work, it's a web browser. Uh, you know, it's somebody's server somewhere that's got way more RAM, way more power than yours probably does, and for some people, that is a godsend, because there's definitely some people playing on, you know, some potato or toaster computers, as, you know, people call them. You know, old hardware, slow machines, stuff like that. So, you know, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need is an add-on called Simulation Craft. Uh, which you can see here, you know, ignore all my other add-ons here, we'll get to those later on in another video. Uh, but you need to make sure that you have Simulation Craft. Uh, you need this add-on installed and enabled. It is incredibly simple. All this add-on does is allow you to get an export string, um, which, you know, is just a big block of text that will let the website kind of just auto-fill in all the gear for you. Um, and it's very, very simple to do. So once you have Simulation Craft add-on, uh, which you can get on the Twitch client, you can also go to Curse Forge and download it there as well if you would prefer that, um, if you don't like using the Twitch client for whatever reason. Uh, but once you have that, all you do is you hit enter while you're in-game here, and you type slash S-I-M-C, and it'll pop up this window. Now, this window here uh, will pop up for you there, and it'll automatically have everything filled in for you. Uh, as you can see here, it says SimC add-on 1.122, requires simulation craft 820-01 or newer. Um, in all seriousness, nothing that you see in here is important for you to understand or look at. Uh, you know, I mean, this is just a wall of text and item IDs and things like that. Um, so don't worry about that. Uh, if for some reason you unclick that, you just hit Control A, and that'll reselect everything for you. Then you're going to hit Control and C on your keyboard to copy it, just like you would in Microsoft Word or, you know, wherever. And you don't necessarily have to click OK, I'm just going to get it off of my screen. And then we will go ahead and we'll bring up the RaidBots website. Uh, so here is the RaidBots website here. Uh, super, super easy to use. Uh, you can see I am logged in here. That has my name up here. Just go ahead and ignore that. Uh, so what we are going to do here is, you can run, it says run simulation craft in the cloud to optimize your World of Warcraft character. Now, this here is the opening screen if you're going to go ahead and, you know, sim your character. Um, Raidbots.com slash simbot. Uh, so from here you have a couple of options. Uh, Top Gear lets you go ahead and figure out, you know, based on everything you have in your bags, you know, what gear is going to be the best for you. These simulations can get absolutely huge, so you have to be very careful. And there is a limit to what you can do on the site for free. Um, there's also uh, a limit to how much it will allow you to export out in a text file so that you can go ahead and toss that into SimCraft on your own computer, you know, if you want to run something that is much, much bigger, uh, you know, or just, you know, will take a lot of time. Um, because obviously, you know, there's a ton of people that want to use this website. Now, another option here is Droptomizer. This will go ahead and figure out, you know, what the best drops are in dungeons, kind of give you an idea 
of what to look for, what keys to run for Mythic Plus, things like that. Um, I haven't used this one all that much myself. I kind of just manually go through and just kind of figure it out on my own. Um, that kind of comes with experience. But, you know, if you're playing a character you're not too familiar with, you know, or if you're just not sure what you need, Droptomizer is pretty good for that. Uh, now, for simpler things here, we have Gear Compare, where you can compare a couple different sets of gear to see what the difference is in DPS. Uh, you know, super, super easy there. And then Talent Compare, where you compare different talent builds. You can just copy your data into there and then just select whatever talents you want. It'll sim your current gear set that you have in it with whatever talents you select. Uh, very useful, especially if you're sitting near breakpoints, like for instance on... Uh, Whenever I am, actually, with the way I'm playing Marksman right now, um, I was actually sitting between using Double Tap or using, um, oh, geez, uh, Lethal Shots, I believe it's called. And I was at the point there where I basically had to figure out, okay, which one's going to be better? Because there is a point where one's better than the other. I figured that out with Talent Compare. Uh, quick Sim will just give you a real quick Sim to see what your DPS is and what your stats are. Uh, this is super simple stuff just to see, you know, Okay, where am I at? Stat weights will give you general stat weights to put into pawn. Um, stat weights is kind of being phased out because it's just kind of not the greatest thing anymore. Um, with the way that stats work currently in the game, it, it's kind of an archaic way of doing things. Um, and actually, if you click into the stat weights panel, it'll actually say to you, this stuff isn't actually all that accurate. You may want to try top gear instead. And then if you're a very advanced user, you can run almost any raw simulation craft script through the advanced tab here. Uh, I don't use that. That is like super specialized stuff if you're into that. Um, but for today's video, we're just going to go ahead and click into Top Gear. And Top Gear is going to bring up this thing here. Now this has my Rogue, my Rogue, excuse me, my Rogue uh, added into it at the moment because that's the last thing that I used. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and just click in there and clear it out. And this is what you would be greeted with you know, if you had never used it before. Uh, so here is where you would hit Control and V, V as in Victor, to paste it in here, and this would just put your text in. And as you can see, when I put that in, it went, uh, it went ahead and it just populated this list for me here. It has the different helmets I have access to in my bags. Uh, you know, you have your various shoulders that I have on me, uh, chest pieces and that. And it'll just list everything that is in your current bags, basically anything it can see when it starts to, you know, check when you type slash sim c in, uh, you know, the game client. Now, to test things that are in your bank, you do need to have your bank open. So be sure that if you do want to test a bunch of stuff and you don't want to pull out of the bank, uh, go to your bank, open it up, have that window open, and then do slash sim c to get everything. Um, so as you can see here, I've got, you know, a couple of different options for everything here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if my waist is better at 435, or if uh, this one here, this benthic piece, is actually better at 405, because I honestly don't know. Uh, I assume it probably isn't 30 item levels is a big jump, uh, but we should find out anyway. And then, uh, you know, we'll just add a couple more in here just to see where it is. Uh, you scroll down here, and you have options for, oh, look, here's, you know, another pair of boots, and we'll throw another ring on there. Uh, you know, there you go. And currently, we're at iterations uh, 360,000 of 4 million, 72 different combinations. Uh, now, with the tier level of um, service that I have with raid bots, because I do have a subscription to them, I get 4 million iterations. I think it's a $5 a month uh, option. Um, baseline, I believe you only get a million. Uh, so to keep that in mind, you have to really watch just how much things change. Uh, you'll see here it says large gem enchant sims may take a very long time. If I were to add in all the different ring enchants, as you can see, it went from, you know, we were there at 300, oh, excuse me, 360,000. Add in all those different ring enchants, and it's 303.6 million instead. Because it has to test every combination of ring. And then it would also be testing every single different ring enchant, which each with each set of rings, as well as every other piece of gear you have. Uh, you know, the same can be said for if you swapped just a gem in there. See, just adding one additional gem uh, took us up to 21 million, which is huge. That's 4,300 different combinations 
uh, you know, it just it gets super daunting super quick. Uh, now, I know at the moment that the only thing I'm going to stack is versatility because that's what Marksman Hunter is stacking at the moment. So we're just going to leave that alone. And then here you have your Azerite things. Uh, there is advanced controls here, which is interesting. This will let you select different ranks of things that you do not have. This is new. Uh, it was not here just even a couple of days ago. Uh, but it's really neat, so I wanted to show that because it, it's really cool that they have added this in here. Uh, as you can see, I don't even have Ripple in space, but I could potentially sim it if I wanted to. Uh, not that I'm going to, because I don't like that essence. Uh, but for the most part here, you'll just stick with the ones that you have. Uh, we're going to be simming for a single target today, so you know we have Condensed Life Force. That is our raid essence. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check and see if maybe Crucible of Flame as the Major would be better. Uh, we'll put this as the minor, and then we'll add in uh, purification protocol as a major and as a minor too. Sure, why not? Uh, we'll just do that there, just for the sake of you know experimentation here. And you can actually do talents in here as well. Be advised that this will immediately double everything. Uh, so you got to be very careful here. If you hit advanced controls, you can lock specific talents in. Um, haven't done that very much, so don't worry about that at all. And as you scroll down here, there are simulation craft options. Initially, uh, most of this stuff is just auto-enabled for you. Uh, as you can see, smart sim for iterations, that's where you want to be at. You can change that. Things can get very big very, very quick, um, so do be careful. Uh, whenever I am sim simming for a single target, I always sim patchwork, one boss, ten minutes, and I use the weekly version of simulation craft. Uh, in Najdatar, because I'm simming for the raid, so I want to make sure I'm getting those benthic armor effects, otherwise I'm not going to get an accurate result. Um, if you're testing for World Vein Essence, uh, you need to make sure that you have, you know, you know how many people are going to have it, and how many people are going to be near you close enough that you will benefit from it. You know, it's just super important to be accurate, as well as loyal to the end and undulating tides. Um, very, very important. This, again, is more advanced stuff here. Um, definitely check with your class discords to see if that is something you need to be checking out. Uh, raid buffs here, uh, just leave it on whatever it has. Just let it decide for you. It'll sim all that stuff. Uh, it'll take it from the standard API for you, which is great. Um, if you don't want to sim with all of the raid buffs here, you can, of course, uncheck one if you want to. Uh, if you're in Zul'dazar to get that gift of the Loa from the, uh, the set from uh, Battle for Dazar lore, you can still test that here. Uh, Treacherous Covenant and the Origination Array. Uh, but of course, these are kind of phased out because they're not really relevant anymore. Uh, now here you can change and add some more stuff for very detailed reports. If you're interested in that, feel free to try it. I'm not going to show that off here. Uh, if you have a custom APL that you're supposed to get and sim from your class Discord, you would paste it here in the APL section. Uh, the report and notification options are in here. Um, you can get browser notification when it's complete. You can get an email if you want to. It's going to be a longer one. Uh, you can also make the title something different if you want to. I really don't mess with that. Uh, and then here it is, you know, this is generally only useful in Battle of Czar Lore. Change it to simulation options. You know, we'll just disable it because it tells you you don't actually need to do that. Um, and here I have it set to high precision. It's two times more precise, but it's four times slower. Uh, if you don't care and you just want to get it done, like we did today, we'll just uncheck that there. And then we're going to hit Find Top Gear. So this is going to go ahead, and because I have the, uh, the premium sub on there, it's going to skip the line. Um, otherwise, you might have to wait a little bit if you don't have that. Uh, so it's going to go ahead and sim here. Again, it's on the quick version, so it's going to go ahead. It's going to poke it around. It's going to do some things here. As you can see, it's simming all the different gear sets here. It's generating different profile sets to use in there. Um, it's just the log. If you actually understand any of what's going on in there, you are way more into this than I am. Uh, this will go ahead. It'll finish up here momentarily. There we go. It'll generate the report for us, and it will show us. Okay, and it looks like if we are in the raid, uh, that 405 belt is apparently a damage increase. Uh, that, is, <laughs> that is absolutely horrifying to me, that a 405 is better. Uh, you do have to keep in mind, of course, that it does have a socket on it, so it really does make up for a lot of item levels. I did not expect it to actually make up for that much. That is really, really surprising to me. Um, so here you can see I didn't need to change any talents. My essences are good as they are for pure single target. 
uh, you know, and we didn't, you know, change any of the enchants or gems or anything like that. If we were going to do that, though, it would tell us here. Now, if you scroll down here, it's going to show you your top gear. Um, here is our current gear. It'll be highlighted. Sometimes you see this, sometimes you do not. Uh, you know, if you don't see it, don't worry about it. That means you probably found something in your bag that's a huge upgrade. Um, so, pretty sweet. Now, you'll see here that, uh, you know, this here is the setup where it says, hey, you should use this with these things, and you'll get a 0.4% increase. Uh, that's probably not enough for me to actually swap the piece of gear, because I really do like the stamina at the moment. I value that over 0.4% DPS. Uh, however, whenever I upgrade the belt again up to 415, it might be worth it to use it. Um, but that is how you see that there. And then all the combinations that simmed lower will be down here. And it'll just show you in this huge, huge list, which just kind of goes on into eternity. I mean, you can see it just goes way down here. shows you everything it simmed, every single gear set. Uh, and then, of course, it says here, 231 additional combinations not shown. Uh, full JSON, which is the, you know, the full report and everything else. Uh, this is basically the downloaded. Don't click that unless you want it to take a while to populate, because it, it, it takes a while. Um, you can see here the input is too large to display in the page, so it puts it in a TXT, if you would like to see that and run it on your own computer, uh, which is pretty cool. And then it has the original input here, which is what you tossed in the beginning. So that is the very, very basics of simulation craft and how to use it on the web. Uh, if you want to do it yourself, you know, on your own PC, it is a little more complicated. Uh, it's not something I'm going to go over. There's plenty of other videos that are much, much better at it explaining than I am. Uh, so I will let you find those yourself. Just search for, you know, how to sim yourself. Uh, you know, uh, simulation, craft, wow. If you search for that, it should pop. There's a bunch that will pop up for you. Um, just keep in mind that they might be out of date. They may, they may not. All depends. You know, so, of course, you know, take everything you see with a grain of salt. So thanks for checking in with me today, guys. I know this is a little bit of a longer video, you know, explaining how to do this, but I wanted to make sure I was good and thorough. You know, if you liked the video, be sure you leave a like. If you didn't dislike it, let me know why in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at Gatsu Gaming. Uh, you know, definitely hit up the uh, VNet community there. It's been pretty stale and pretty dead for a little while. Uh, of course, I also disappeared for a bit, so not too surprising. And if you would like to support the channel on Patreon, there is a link in the description down below. So thanks, guys. You have a great one, and see you next time.